Well, hello out there. You're here with John Thomas Gillum, and I'm sitting here at the Starbucks as usual. Uh, enjoying myself a cup of coffee, and uh, I just want to say that uh, I mean every bit of how I express myself in regards to Jesus Christ. I don't want anybody to be misled. Whoever watches this, I'm going to download this on YouTube that I curse the name of Jesus Christ a multitude of times and I've cursed the Holy Spirit as well and I will continue to do that and uh, uh, I know that I, I, sh I should if I, I could settle for not having nothing I could settle for injustice I could settle for wrongdoing by people who uh, I, I blame and fault for s stimulating the ignorance in my life which are those who wear badges in America, and most particularly the one my mother married, and the others that that uh, worked in accord with his operations, is my feeling, and uh, and that's the way I feel. But I, like I say, I could settle for nothing. I could settle for nothing. I could settle for nothing, and, and a, a, a a missing limb, or I could settle for nothing. A missing eyeball. Uh, let's see. Settle for nothing, a missing eyeball, no justice for, on anything in my life for, for what I've sought after, and that is to know the faces of my enemies with a certainty and not struggle with doubt, know how it is I established all my enemies. Have that, the ability to, to, to read into situations that I don't want for myself, and the ability to have health and to, and to look the best I can at 48 years old. I take that and, and, and then I'll spend the rest of my life canning, as, as Red calls it. Canning. I call it recycling, picking up recyclable goods, but he calls it canning. I'll settle for that. If, that. if I can't get that from Christ, if I can't get the least that I've saw from Christ, then I stand on what I've expressed, which is, fuck Jesus Christ. I stand on that. I'll, look, I'll say that right in front of the... the you can gather up the most famous preachers in America and right in their face I'll tell you, you know what, this is how I feel. Fuck Jesus Christ. And that's, that's how I feel. You know, I've spent, I spent to 2008, and, and this, this is the same way, this negative feeling, I, this ain't a demon. If you think it's a demon, then think it's a demon. Take this, if you're, if you're right, then you take this demon of hernia, you take the demon of ignorance, you take the demon of, 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 of a feeling of unhealthiness one day and healthy the next day. If you take that demon from me, then you're right. It was a demon. You could take the demon of this hernia. You could take the demon of this often not feeling as I know I should. Then it was a demon. But it ain't left yet, and I've had my hernia for going on eight years that I got at Walmart. And like I said, I ain't worried about the justice through Walmart or justice for being harassed a little too much by these Southern California police officers. A little too much. I don't know what you've done to me outside of harassing me. I can't, you know, I don't know what goes on when I sleep. That's all I can tell you. But I've had incidents when I was sleeping that were like uh, life-threatening incidents. I can tell you that. That's all I can testify to, but I'm not... Uh, uh, and I do not trust the man, my mother, man. I'm sorry. I think that that marriage on that day that you married my mother reflects the truth. And that is Ron well and away, that version of Ron well and away in that, in that booth at Italian Gardens with Jeff just, just in a weird stare. And I was over there kind of smiling, being myself. There's a reason for why those emotions were so different in each one of us. And I, 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 I'm going to always stand by what I believe, that you are what you are. You're, you're a, a, one of the great sons of darkness. And the way you lived, when, when you married my mother, your dependency for bottled water, and you lived, you lived exactly the way you'd expect somebody to live who inherited something less rich in the spirit. And, and to sustain a good life and keep a good pH balance, you've done everything right in accord with that. And for the life of me, I can't see how somebody who, who could be so deprived 
of, of the information they need just to just to just to, to compete fairly. And, and that's the whole reason for cursing that name of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And I'll curse it in the face of anybody. I don't care. And, and that's the way it goes. I'll go to any preacher in America, I'll curse the name of Jesus right in your face. And that's the way it is. And, and according to that scripture, this is, this, this is a test that many of you fail. That is, it, that scripture says, bless those who curse you. I'm still waiting on that blessing of just uh, just just what I ask. It might, if I can't have nothing else, honor that, and then we'll be satisfied. Otherwise, it's, you know, I will continue as I do, and that's that's the way it goes, you know. And that's the way it goes, you know. I go I go a lot of places, and you know, I got laughing hyenas down here in this area now. Laughing hyenas down in this area. And you know how hyenas are. They sneak in and get that meat when the lion's back is turned. They'll sneak in and steal the lion's meat or the lion's kill when the butt lion's got his back turned. Or well, the lions don't often sleep that much, but that's when these, you know, that's when these, these inferior ones want to prey on the superior. And so I stand on what I say. I stand on what I say, and it's all based on what I've been through, man. I'm, I'm telling you, long suffering beyond long suffering. Started at the age of 18 years old, 20 years old. Some woman claimed that she had a, that I was peeking through her windows. That never got resolved. You know, a double was there, and, and for years I just can't. You know, I don't know what took place years ago when that oppression took place. I can't, I can't, oppression when I was, let, let me, I try to think of how old I was at the time, I think I was like 27, I want to say right around 27, maybe 26, 27, I was driving at the time, I think I was still driving my, uh, I think I was still driving my Ford Brown Pinto, yeah, I was still driving that Ford Brown Pinto when that oppressive force came over my life in the late 80s. I was still driving that Ford Brown Pinto that I had. I was never the same then. I was isolating with the right. And shortly thereafter, that Nimitz Freeway. I'll never forget the Nimitz Freeway collapsing in the San Francisco earthquake. Shortly thereafter, right around that time. And since then, I've suffered far too much to be, not having the least that I saw here at 48 years old. So. I can't refrain myself from cursing the name of Jesus. So I, I expect Jesus to fulfill the, what he requests others to do. That is bless those who curse you. That's all. I don't want gold. I don't want silver. I don't want millions of dollars. I don't want beautiful women. I don't want beautiful women. I don't even want, I don't want nothing. I don't want a gay man. I got my dog, my tiny home. Just at least what I ask. And, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. Uh, but you, 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 most of my reason for my struggle today is because you used the law. You gave in to the devil, and the devil had you harass John with the law. Yeah, he can like lock And that devil, that devil, he's he is he is what he is. That devil. So that's the way I feel. Unfortunately, I do I do not have any positive emotions for my mother, my father. Anybody in my family, none. Zero, zilch, nada, none. And that's at that, that's at 48 years old. May God, I say, may God give to you exactly what you've given to me. May God give to you. May God give to the United States of America what the United States of America has given to me. That's all. That's it. So say amen. Amen. So that's, that's how I feel. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and post this one and post this on YouTube as well. And you know, I was thinking, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a strong candidate for the Antichrist role. But, you know, I was also thinking about, uh, I just can't figure out why Hitler isn't, there isn't a, there isn't a really, uh, why it isn't, deeply written in the scripture of the man who wiped out as many Jews as he did and just slaughtered them like crazy. And why is it not so, that's a mystery. I think, my guess is, 
you know, years ago when I first heard of the Antichrist, the first person that came to my mind is the Antichrist was Hitler. When I was younger and I heard about this Antichrist, this person against Jesus, the first, the first person that came to my mind was Hitler. And I even believed in the possibility of Hitler surviving a, uh, a head wound that uh, that one of uh, a spy or somebody might have took a shot at him, and he might have survived it. And that's what I, that's what I believe. Years ago, I believe that's when I was even much younger. I believed that. I believed Hitler. I believed in the power of the. He, he was sort of like the Zodiac killer, enslaving all these people. He was all these Jews. He was slaughtering, and those Jews were like a like a powerful force that would literally be able to maybe uh, have him survive a, a, a shot of some type. But that's how I feel. You know. But I don't know for sure, you know. But anyhow, I don't. That's how I feel, and that's going to continue to be the situation with me. Uh, so that devil, he likes to try to send his programming. He's a programmer. That devil, he wants to program. Is he know a thing that the only reason why I never act against these people I suspected? We're serving the devil and we're, we're doing we're doing things to myself because of that law. If it wouldn't have been for the law, and, and, the, and not, not, not so much the law, I'll tell you the main factor why John didn't act on the hunch. Not a, I didn't actually have any, except for one person I've seen one day reaching over my McDonald's cup at, at that McDonald's in Fontana several years ago. This is that uh, hyena dude who I think's Appearance changes, and I don't, I, I don't know the details on yeah. him and how many doubles he's got. But anyhow, back then, but I wasn't certain if he was just, you know, playing a game or what he might have been doing. But I can tell you that uh, I never really witnessed anything outside of that happening to me in my in my visual range to see. But I've gotten a hunch that things have happened, and I get a hunch. That it's this person, this person. But the only thing, the main thing here, one of the main reasons why I didn't act when I should have, is because of a lack of having. A lack of having. If you're not worthy, if you're not worthy of an understanding for why you don't feel the way you do years ago, if you don't have an understanding for why you got varicose veins on the end of your penis. If you don't get an understanding for why uh, you didn't, you, you didn't get. The better job you know you deserved and all these things you don't know why a father with two vacant rooms in his house would only offer to you on maybe two occasions and not continually all those things factored into me not and, and the law was it was the second greatest thing right there who wants to go through what i went through from 18 to to i mean from my youth clear up to that point and then and then uh, make a decision that could wind you up in jail the rest of your life. And then, when you, when, but on top of that, I got a hunch that years ago, or where during the uh, process of George Bush getting elected, that it was suggested that uh, uh, I had to I had to suffer this, or I was going to have to go to jail for 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 what I don't know for something I'm not guilty of. One or on and just doubles, or somebody. Ron and Jeff had double for me, must have did. I hear Ron huffing and puffing a lot, and that's just tough shit for Ron. Just tough shit for Ron. But, and so, that's how I feel, you know, and that's, that's the way it goes. I'm a man who's long, long suffered. There ain't no man in, in the United States of America that's, I don't think, that's suffered in the manner of which I've suffered. I could be wrong, and I hope God corrects me, and I hope I see another person that, that may have equally suffered like I have over the last several years of my life, but I don't think I'm going to find anybody. And because of that, and I'll never, I'll never, I'll never have peace in my heart and soul with the police until I move out of this area, move out of, out of the state of California. And that's just the way it goes. I'm looking forward to that sooner or later. That hole driller Nicholas. I think Nicholas is a hole driller. Nicholas McCurry is a hole driller. That's what I think. Uh, I could be wrong, but anyhow. Yeah.
This is it for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and download this one.